Walking up to the glass, Claire stared at the forest, trying to understand what she was seeing. Is this thing actually real? Claire wondered to herself. How is a forest able to exist underground? As she looked at the forest, she saw a deer casually eating the grass. Looking up, it seemed to stare at her before returning to its meal. It looks so adorable! Hannah stood next to her, staring at the deer. Out of the shadow of the forest, additional deers appeared and joined the first with eating the plant life on the floor of the forest. Claire's eyes also picked up other animals calmly seen in such an environment. It only added to her confusion, making her wonder what Star and Moon was capable of. Turning ahead, she looked further down the hallway, where they needed to go to register as the video had requested. Though they hadn't been inside the shelter for much time, it still felt like they had been inside for hours. There were still the feelings of having been transported to another world. Claire placed a hand on Hannah's shoulder. We should get going. Turning to grin at her friend, she nodded. I wonder what else we're going to see inside this place. Walking down the hallway, Claire's eyes kept roaming about and taking in everything around them. Down the entire hallway, the forest could be seen on either side. Soon, they walked into a wider area. On the far side were several doors, looking like elevators. A dozen metal posts were placed in front, giving a bizarre feeling and making them wonder what this new area's purpose was. As Claire approached one of the posts, she soon saw a screen on the slanted top. Please place your bracelet on the screen. Claire read the words displayed on a calming greenish-blue background. The colors in the background were slowly swirling about. She turned to look at Hannah. What do you think? Having walked to one of the other posts, Hannah shrugged and raised the arm that had a bracelet worn on the wrist. It's similar to what Star Moon Studio had when you wanted to gain access to something so I don't think there are any problems. Following after her friend, Claire placed her own bracelet on the screen. As soon as the bracelet was close to the screen, it changed to a rotating circle as though thinking through some kind of process. In a moment, the screen changed to display different words. Thank you. We have detected your special privilege. Please wait to be escorted. We hope you enjoy your stay. Special privilege? Claire read the words again, not understanding what it was talking about. Escorted? She turned about, trying to figure out who would be waiting for them. Are any of the Star Moon employees working inside of this shelter? Did you get the same thing? Hannah asked, her voice sounding equally confused as what Claire was experiencing. Nodding, Claire said, The question is, who are we waiting for inside this place? As though summoned by her words, a door slid open on one of the side walls. The way was designed. It was hidden and not meant to be noticed by any of the people coming into the shelter. Walking out of the hidden door was a woman with long green hair. What made Claire's eyes widen in surprise was how the woman's skin was a light shade of green giving her the appearance of being a dryad from those ancient mythologies. Claire's breath caught in her throat as she gazed at the woman. Even if compared to beauty models, the woman would have outclassed them due to the mystical beauty surrounding her. The shape of her body being the desired hourglass shape coveted by women. Claire noticed the emblem on the woman's uniform, the logo of Star Moon, pinned just above her right, well-proportioned breast. Welcome, Claire and Hannah. The woman bowed in greeting when she stopped between the two girls. How did you know our names? Hannah asked, mystified by the beautiful woman. Smiling sweetly, the woman pointed at the post. Our system was able to pull the necessary data 
from your bracelet. In addition, we are able to detect the added qualification not inside the bracelet. 